Ojibwe over to McNeil. Ten on the shot clock. Culver's wow. first shot up and good. So much more efficient. Not that he can't go to his right, but he is so much better and more efficient with his left hand. And Chris just so much better offensively this year, don't you think? Yeah, he slowed down. I think if you beat this, this West Virginia team, they're going to have to knock down some threes tonight. Jalen Coleman lands, hits his first shot, and that's a good sign. Here's Shibwe underneath for two. He's starting to get himself into, into shape, but he's got to play better. Sean McNeil's first shot off the mark. And there's nice. Bolton. We talked about him. He take advantage. Too strong on the jumper. Matthews, the left-hander goes. Quick release. That was Javen Johnson's first shot attempt. Here's Deuce McBride, gives it up to Culver. That's that dynamic duo you touched on, Chris. You know, Culver does such a good job running the floor that Bolton ends up having to take him. And so it ends up, you match up poorly at the beginning of the possession and you get burned. Somebody said, you know, how... If, if Shaquille O'Neal was in the NBA now, how would he be used? Or, or who would he be? And I said he'd be Culver, certainly one of them, though, this year in college hoops. Rashir Bolton's bucket gave <laughs> Iowa State the lead. There's Bolton, four points in the early going. The deflection by McBride, and it forces a turnover. Here he is at the other end, and he throws it down with two hands. You were a man of South Dakota. I mean, you, you were, it fit you so well, Rich. You know what, I was excited to get there because it's a state I had never visited, but I really liked my time there. How to do that? So far, they've handled it okay. Matthews for three. I like that. Right. That's why a lot of coaches, I think, have uh, take issue with preseason rankings because you're going on a lot of assumptions and past success, not rebound. And here come the Cyclones, down 5, 9.40 to go. Culver on the bench, but getting ready to check nice. in on the next whistle. Here's Taz Sherman, guarded by another transfer. This time it's Tyler Harris from Memphis, and he can't stick with Sherman. It's a West Virginia turnover this time. Here's Harris, fastest player on the floor, gets his first two. Low start because he was starting for Steve Prome. Now they like to bring him off the bench as a little offensive spark plug, and he provides that. Bolton racing down the floor and getting an easy two. Let's see if Bolton has a little heat check in him now. Instead, he gives it up the one more. Here's Harris, got it! And Iowa State on top by one after that three by Tyler Harris. McBride creates space. Offensive rebound and the putback by Cole. Do you think the Big 12 is better right now than the Big 10? I think pound for pound it is. I mean, it only has 10 teams. The Big 10's got like 100. Tough take by Jalen Coleman, Coleman lands. It comes up empty and Condit the offensive rebound and putback. Set against the Cyclones coming in. West Virginia right now only 40%. Here's a steal. Let's see if defense leads to offense. And it does. McNeil for two. Leading offense. Ten on the shot clock. Bolton. There it is. Drives and goes off the window in Big 12 play. They start with the ball going right to left in their home gold uniforms. Here's Culver. Paint touch. Good. And a chance at a three-point play. Let's see if they try and get him going. They go high low. And Shibway finishes. A very West. Javen Johnson with the ball. Ten on the shot clock. A lot of dribbling from Johnson, but he converts. Teams especially who are trying to compete in the ACC. It's, that's big for both those programs. It should have happened. I mean, I don't know what the heck took so long. Yeah. There's a nice take. In the corner. Ooh. And a deep three. Wide open and knocks it down. Already. Still a lot of time left in this one. Sloppy. Ooh. 
and one opportunity for Rashir Bolton. And he's held his own. And he's just a freshman. 55 in gray. Another and one opportunity, and the Cyclones are rolling. Bridges, bad shot, offensive rebound, and that is the best offense for West Virginia tonight. Here you go. 16 points, eight boards for Derek Culver. Coleman lands, gets it to drop. That's, that's a winning play. Hugs needs Miles McBride to get back in the scoring column, and on cue. Now the double team with two bigs. Bolton gets away from it. Five on the shot clock. Number five knocks down a triple. Somebody's open. What a find by Rushier Bolton. Nice. And there you the go. easy dunk from Shebway. Harris knocks it down. All at a generous five foot nine. Shibwe, big offensive rebound. And they convert it to points. Deuce, and it's picked off by McBride. Shibwe, and one. Lance. And they convert at the other end. And who is it? None other than Rashir Bolton. Neil looking for Culver. Now he's got it. McBride for three. Got it. Nice. Young and Iowa State back on top by two. He's picking rolls, bringing the big away from the basket, driving, forcing help. There you go. Nice take by Javen Johnson. Tied again at 58 now. Here's a three from the wing, and it's good for Jalen Coleman Lamb. So far this season have been decided by one point. We've got a one-point game here inside West Virginia Coliseum. Bolton, tough, silky smooth. To Sherman, short. The rebound to West Virginia, and Taz Sherman follows his own miss. Now 24 points. And at 64. Man, tough kid. Big free throws here. And, and McBride makes them both. 14 for 16, Chris. Yeah. You got to win that game. Sherman cans them both. Bob Huggins decides to foul as this thing clock winds down. Uh, and another costly turnover for Iowa State. Yeah. He was out of bounds and then in bounds. Here's Solomon Young with the ball. Time running out. They get it in the corner. The three no good. And West Virginia hangs on and escapes with a five-point win over a game Iowa State Cyclones team.